To space now, NASA gearing up for what's being called seven minutes of terror. That's how long it'll take the Mars rover Curiosity to get from space to the surface of Mars early Monday morning. It's one of the most complicated landings ever attempted. After traveling more than 350 million miles from Earth, Curiosity will hit the Martian atmosphere, traveling at 13,000 miles per hour. A heat shield will protect it, and a giant parachute will help slow it down. Then rockets kick in, getting the rover to within 20 feet of the surface, and what's called a sky crane gently lowers it to the surface. It all has to work perfectly, and that's why everyone at NASA is concerned about the risk. Let's learn more about this from Dr. Paul Dougherty, senior scientist at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. Paul, good morning to you. Good morning. It's called Seven Minutes of Terror. I just went through it a moment ago. Does this sound crazy to you? Uh, it sounds crazy, but boy, it's hard to land on Mars, so you need to think crazy to get there safely. So, so let's put this on a scale of one to ten, ten being a success, one being a complete failure. What are the chances that this thing actually works? I think it's up there in the nines. Those engineers at JPL are really good. Landing on Mars has been, landing on Mars has been a tricky thing. Seventy percent of the missions that have landed on Mars have failed. That's both the U.S. and with Russia as well. What are the factors that complicate this? Well, the atmosphere of Mars is thick enough to heat your spacecraft and melt it on the way in if you don't slow down in the right way, but it's, it's thin enough that it's hard to slow down. So it's this delicate balance between slowing down fast enough and not slowing down at all. And that's what takes this incredibly complicated heat shield, uh, parachute, rocket, sky crane maneuver. And not to mention, this is something that scientists won't be seeing in real time. There's gonna be quite a bit of a delay, why? Well, it takes 14 minutes at this point for light to get from Mars to Earth and radio signals too. So this lander will be on the surface of Mars in one piece or many for seven minutes before the signal gets back to Earth to tell us that it's successful or not. We've had missions like this before. What makes this one different? Well, this one, it's the size of a smart car in terms of weight. It's, it's, a, it's a one ton on Earth with 165 pounds, about a person's worth of science instruments and the last missions were much smaller. They had like 20 pounds of science instruments for the rovers that we know so well. If this mission is a success, we look a little bit more long-term. What do we expect to find out? What are we looking for? We're looking for the answer to one of the most important questions that humanity has ever asked, and that is, is there life on other worlds? And this is just one step in NASA's well-planned procedures to find out if there's been life on other worlds. This one is looking for the habitat for life on Mars. Could life exist there now or has it ever existed there? Itching with anticipation, we will have to find out. Paul Dougherty joining us this morning. Paul, thank you so much. Thank you.